Hacked emails from the personal account of former US Secretary of State Colin Powell reveal that former British Prime Minister Tony Blair was encouraged to take part in an occult Illuminati ceremony at the Bohemian Grove Club. This is an email from Colin Powell's personal account hacked by Goosefer and leaked to RT. And it's from News Corps director, Rupert Murdoch's News Corps, Andrew Knight. And it's to Colin Powell. And in the email, he encourages Blair to be asked to take part in this occult ritual. Says, might you be able to gently, firmly point out to Tony that you rank the Bohemia middle weekend in your diary before allowing any other duties to get in the way? Lack of exposure suggests that Tony has not yet got his priorities straight. So what they're talking about, Bohemia Middle Weekend, is the weekend in which the cremation of care ceremony takes place at Bohemian Grove, and we'll get on to show you that in a minute. But what's interesting is this quote, lack of exposure suggests that Tony has not yet got his priorities straight. So they're saying because Blair has seemingly not taken part in this occult, pagan, mock sacrifice ritual, which we'll show you in a second, that that means he's got a lack of exposure. A lack of exposure to what? Being controlled by the elite because he's a member of their little secret pagan Illuminati ritual club. Here's the response from Blair's office, also hacked as part of this Goosefer operation. He basically says, thanks. Grove sounds very interesting. Unfortunately, my schedule is very busy. And then in... His own handwriting, he says he hopes to take part in 2013 because his schedule will be clearer. So look out for Blair to attend the cremation of care ceremony later this summer. And of course it was back in the year 2000 that Alex Jones successfully infiltrated Bohemian Grove and was able to capture on video, as part of his documentary Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove, the mock sacrifice of an individual in the cremation of care ceremony which our world leaders conducted in front of a 40-foot stone pagan owl deity that they like to call Molech. Again, nothing to worry about. These people have their fingers on the nuclear trigger and yet in their spare time they're worshipping a 40-foot stone owl. And of course, just like Bilderberg, the mainstream media routinely tries to downplay Bohemian Grove as being just a summer camp where no decisions whatsoever are made and the global elite just get together for a little holiday. Of course, besides all the occult rituals and bizarre weirdness that takes place there by these so-called, you know, mainly Christian Republican leaders engaging in pagan ceremonies, the Washington Post, as this RT report reminds us today, reported that a planning meeting for the Manhattan Project occurred at the Grove in 1942, leading eventually to the creation of the atom bomb. So they're actually discussing the nuclear weapons program at the same time in between they're conducting this bizarre pagan ceremony. So the fact is that major political decisions are made at Bohemian Grove. This is an important event for the global elite. There's an image from one of the programs for the ceremony obtained by Alex Jones and it shows a corpse of a young, what appears to be a child, a mock corpse being sacrificed as part of this cremation of care ritual. And here's a clip from Alex Jones's documentary of that very ritual. All the winds, they carry with thy dust. Hail fellowships, eternal flame. Once again, Midsummer sets us free. (laughs) 
Now, in regards to Tony Blair, as we saw from this London Independent article from back in September 2005, Blair and his wife, Cherie Blair, are obsessed with New Age rituals. It talks about a Mayan rebirthing ceremony, uh, and the article made reference to how Blair and his wife screamed out in this New Age pagan-type ritual as they were involved in this Mayan rebirth ceremony. It talks about all kinds of bizarre, a series of bizarre practices that took place in the prime ministerial household of Tony Blair. So Blair is into this kind of stuff. He's into the bizarre mock sacrifice rituals, the New Age pagan ceremonies. So the fact that Andrew Knight, the director of Rupert Murdoch's News Corp, would urgently invite him to take part in the Bohemian Grove cremation of care ceremony is very appropriate. But the key to this story is this. The elite do set policy and discuss policy at Bohemian Grove. That's what the mainstream media over the years, over the decades, same with Bilderberg, has repeat, repeatedly tried to deny. And the opposite is the case. As we exposed in this July 2011 article, insider secretive elite set policy at Bohemian Grove. In this article, first of all, we go through the fact, the admitted fact that Nixon and Reagan both attended Bohemian Grove before becoming president. George W. Bush attended in 1995, five years before becoming president. Of course, we mentioned before the Manhattan Project was conceived there. And the Strategic Defense, Defense Initiative, Star Wars, was also the brainchild of Grove members, being introduced during a lakeside talk in the early 80s before Reagan proposed the program in March 1983. So Manhattan Project, Star Wars, presidents attending before they capture the Oval Office. This is basically the American version of Bilderberg. Key decisions take place there. People are groomed to become presidents there. And these links all document that in our article. But importantly, Sonoma State Sociology Professor Peter Phillips gave an interview back in 2011 with the San Francisco Chronicle. And he said that when he attended the CONFAB, Bohemian Grove in 1994, it was a forum for very important people to discuss intimate issues. And he made it clear that they do set policy. Quote, they're very clearly talking politics and business constantly. And then he quotes, weaving spiders come not here, which is what the Bohemian Grove quote is. I proved the opposite quite clearly, said Phillips. I heard conversations about business. If GE comes in on the deal, we can get the Japanese to join three men walking down a trail together. So this insider who attended Bohemian Grove in 1994 said they do set policy, they do talk about business, contradicting the hoax peddled by the mainstream media that it's just a summer camp for the elite. And of course, in between talking about, you know, Star Wars and the nuclear bomb, uh, they're being serviced by gay porn stars. That's right. In July 2004, the New York Post reported that gay porn star Chad Savage was servicing the moguls at Bohemian Grove. So they actually transport in gay prostitutes and what they get up to with these Republican, supposedly Christian leaders. Well, I'll leave that to your own imagination. But this email hack proves again that this is an important event for the elite. Not only that they run around with gay prostitutes, piss up against trees, and perform a mock sacrifice of a human being to a giant 40-foot owl god. These are the same people who rule the world, nothing to worry about. They also set policy. And that's why Andrew Knight and Colin Powell were probably so keen to invite Tony Blair to get in on the fun. So they do set policy, they do talk business, they make massive decisions crucial to the future of the world, all while dressing up, looking like clan members, making mock human sacrifices in front of a 40-foot pagan owl god. So the question remains, if those kind of people 
did that, would you let them babysit your children? Well, probably not. And yet these people are in control of the world. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com. Cannot slay. 